Hi folks, um, just checking in. Um, I had posted a video earlier that um, um, I had posted a video earlier that um, or about the the fish tank. We had cleaned it out and basically made it really clear. I don't I don't know if I I want to show it to you right now. My I, it's gonna look weird. But anyway, um, I wanted to explain how we're dealing with the gravel dust in the gravel situation, um, and I'll show you. All right, so um, I can't really go outside right now. There's people working on the roof, but um, I don't know if you can see it from here. Let's try and focus. There we go. All right, so as you can see, I have a little gravel out there. I sprayed it down like crazy with the hose. Um, it's on, if you can see, on the very, very corner, like at the end of where that black is on the screen. Um, I have this netting down and the netting's uh, preventing the rocks from falling falling through or getting basically grabbing all the, the big rocks and laying the little ones out because we're not too worried about the little ones and that way it solves our problem with um, it solves our problem with uh, with the little rocks kind of clogging things up although that's not really a problem still uh, we're getting rid of that um, so it, it, um, it's not so bad after all. Um, anyway, so once those are done drying, I'm going to cart them back in here and then get everything back, set back up. Um, I wanted to also, um, also show you our bell siphon while it's out. And I'll show it to you right here. All right. So it's pretty much a standard bell siphon, like you see in, in a lot of other videos online. Uh, let's get close to the window. Give me a second. All right. So it's, uh, well, let me see if I can get it out. <laughs> All right. So here's our bell siphon. And uh, so there's the tube to get everything up, or break the siphon. You can see it comes down and, and through. Uh, the most important thing that we were a little confused about while we were making ours was um, this, this really cool guy on YouTube. He was helping us out a lot with his videos. His tube comes, his, he, he says only in one of his videos, but the tube in there comes, comes out. I think you could see it a little bit. The tube pokes out probably um, an inch or two, uh, maybe an inch and a half, and it comes down. Uh, we had it just breaking through that hole at the top. I mean, it was coming down maybe, it was maybe coming down here inside. Now it's like way down here. Uh, that's where you need to have it because it's gotta, it's gotta get low enough for some reason. We had ours up here and it wasn't breaking. It was just, uh, it was a whole mess. So that's that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, there's our little zip tie. Uh, now our casing is like normal. Uh, well, normal for a lot of aquaponics people. We have uh, a bunch of holes uh, that allows the water to get through, but keeps the big rocks out of the way and uh, protects it a little bit. So that's going pretty well. I got to wash these off. They're coated in in, uh, in powder from the gravel, but um. Yeah, so we're 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 kind of we're, we're getting stuff done. Um, the graph should be done within the hour, and uh, we're losing daylight a little bit out there, but um, so far so good. All right, peace.